factorised fully. That means everything else spot everything which goes into it. Looks at numbers first, six and eight, or well, two goes into that. So I can take out two. Anything else going to both x doesn't go into this one. So I've got y. There's a y, so I can take out two y. Having done that, I now need to see what I need to multiply by. To get six, I need to multiply by three. So I put that bit down. So that will give me six y, and I've got x there, so it'll be three x. I've got a plus, so plus. Look at the numbers first. Two times four will give me eight. So I'm doing this bit. And then I've got to get y squared. I've got one y here. That must be the other y. I get that. Just check six xy. And then two fours, so eight times y squared. That's good. Expand and simplify. Well, first off, I'll do x times x, which is x squared. Then x times negative minus 3 is minus 3x. Minus 5 times x is minus 5 more x's. And finally, be careful, minus 5 times minus 3. Minus times a minus is a positive. 3 fives, 15. It says simplify, so I can now put that as x squared. And then I've got to take away 8x's. I've got minus 3 of them there, minus 5 more there. And plus 15. Solve the inequality. Well, that means I just have to do it like an equation. But the best thing to do is always see which side has got most x's on. And it's got most x's on the left hand side. So I get rid of the three x's from the right hand side. And then that will leave me with uh, two x's take away two is less than three x's take away three x's. Nothing, so I leave me just less than 18. Now I want to obviously get rid of the minus 2, so I'm going to add 2 to both sides, and that will give me that 2 x's are less than 20. And now I can divide both sides by 2, x is less than 10. That's my answer. Finally, for 3 marks I need to solve this. I'm going to times both sides by 4, so that will vaporise the divide by 4 and just leave me with x on the left hand side. And then I've got to times the right hand expression by 4, so I could put it in brackets or I could just do it. 4 lots of 2 is 8, minus 4 lots of x will be 4x. Now I need to solve that. I've got most x's on here because I've got 1x on the left hand side, and I've got to take away 4x's on the right hand side. So what I'm going to do is get rid of the 4x's there by adding 4x's to both sides. And that will leave me on the left hand side, I'll end up with uh, 5x's and 8, and then the 4 minus 4x is plus 4x vaporised, so leaving nothing. Now divide both sides by 5, and now x equals 8 divided by 5. I can just leave it like that. That would give me my 3 marks. Or I could change that into a, t a mixed fraction. Or 3 fifths, I know, is 0 0.6. So I can then change it into 1.6, or 1 3 fifths, or 8 fifths. That's uh, question 7 done.